Hey everyone, it's Josh, and if you've been using iOS for a while like I have, you've probably seen a number of neat transition animations over the years, some written by Apple, but others created by developers just like you. In this screencast, we'll go over how to make your own custom segue transitions. And before we get started, I'd like to give a big thanks to Caroline Begbie, who wrote the custom segues chapter in iOS 9 by Tutorials, which is the basis for this screencast. For our demo, we'll be updating the segues in the Pampered Pets app, a pet mining app that when complete, will display a list of pets to mine and their details. In particular, we'll make a new custom segue, one that scales an image using a good dose of protocols to accomplish the task. In particular, UI View Controller Transitioning Delegate, which vends the animator objects upon presentation and dismissal of the view controller, UI View Controller Animated Transitioning, which describes the animations, and UI View Controller Context Transitioning, which holds details about the presenting and presented view controllers and views. Let's see how each of those are used as we scale the size of our fish. First, let's make a new UI Storyboard Segway subclass, which will adopt the UI View Controller Transition Delegate allowing us to specify a custom transition animation later on. Make the scale segue class and then define an extension below it to handle the protocol. This protocol lets the segue vend presentation and dismissal animators for use in the transitions. Later, we'll implement a protocol method that returns the custom animator we'll build. For now, override the perform method in scale segue as follows. Here, the transitioning delegate of the destination of the segue is set, so that the scale segue class is in charge of vending animator objects. In previous iOS versions, you may have put the transition animation code in perform, but now you can use this transitioning delegate to decouple the animation from the segue. Next, let's create the animator. Inside the scale segue class, make a new class called scale present animator, which extends in its object and adopts the UI view controller animated transitioning protocol. We'll use this to present the modal view controller. Note that I'm keeping the animators in the same file as its segue, since they're closely related, but they can be kept in separate files if desired. Now let's define the important code for this demo, and that's the code related to the transition itself. Add the transition duration method to scale present animator. The duration here is two seconds, which is bigger than a normal transition of half a second or so. This is done to let you see the effect clearly. Now for the actual transition, add the method called animate transition. This is a little involved, so let's break this down. First, we've grabbed the to view controller and view from the transition context. Second, if the destination view isn't nil, add it to the transition context container view so it can be presented. Third, define the initial frame and lay it out. Fourth, get the duration for this transition and the final frame for the transition so that finally we can perform the animation with a given transition, setting the final frame as the destination for the animation and calling complete transition on the transition context. Now let's add a delegate method to scale segues UI view controller transition delegate extension. This simply tells the segue to use the scale present animator during presentation. Finally, to tie the code to the storyboard, set the segue class type to scale seg and change the presentation type to form sheet. Now if you run the app in the iPhone simulator and tap on the image, it will take up the full screen. And if you run it on the iPad, it will scale up into a form sheet. Let's look at one more thing. Most users would expect the small photo to scale directly to a larger one. But how do you tell the animator which view to scale? You don't have a direct reference to the source image view since everything is decoupled. Protocols are a great tool to use in this situation. The Animal Detail View Controller can adopt a protocol to set which view to scale. The animator can then use that protocol's scaling without knowing anything about the source. If we make Animal Detail View Controller adopt this protocol, 
and give it a scale view property will be set. Now let's use this in our transition code. In scale sideways animate transition method, find the code that starts with let to view controller and before that line add the following. This gets references for the from view controller and view. Be sure to use the proper enums here. It's very easy to get them confused. Next, replace toView.frame equals dot zero with the following. Instead of starting the to frame at the top left, this starts the animation at the from view controller's scale view frame property, assuming the view controller adopts view scalable. Keep in mind here that the animator knows nothing about the source view controller, just that it adopts view scalable, a beautiful decoupled software design. If you run this in the iPhone simulator again, you'll see that the image scales as one might expect. The built-in capabilities of iOS continue to be extraordinary, but to have them represent your app just how you want, protocols are used to fill in some of the functionality gaps. This is no different for defining your own custom segue transitions. Animation descriptions, controller and view details, and the vending of the animation objects are all defined by objects that adopt specific protocols unique to your app. That's a look at how to make a custom segue transition in your app. Keep coming back to raywinderlich.com for more screencasts and tutorials on iOS. See you next time.